Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today we are continuing our IVA career mode, um, but because of an uh, incident occurring in the last episode, we have stopped manned space flight. Um, so we're just going to keep doing probes. Um, of course, uh, we need to train a new pilot, and that pilot will be Abcock Kerman. So we will be taking advantage of this time, getting him ready. Um, we're not sure what the mission's going to look like, but we are going to attempt to get a man into space at some point in the near future. Uh, but of course, here we are designing a space probe. Um, it has way too many batteries. Those things weigh a ton. I, I didn't. I wasn't really thinking when I built this rocket. Um, this series has already taught me a lot about being more efficient, but yeah, that's way too many batteries. And um, eventually I end up calling that Ike-1. And we go ahead and prepare to launch, set up the cameras, just figuring out how this IVA uh, probe core works. Alright, everything's set up, throttle up, and lift off. Right, everything's looking good, oh, and we spin and eventually end up dumping our space probe in the ocean. All right, so let's get forward to Ike 4. I've completely redesigned the rocket, actually, you know, like calculated delta V, and I'm thinking more about what I'm doing. Still haven't removed the extra batteries though. Um, but here we go. I'm using co rotation from Smart ASS. Um, smart ass. Uh, and it's not as good as SAS. It shakes like crazy, but it does make my life a little bit easier trying to hold this thing steady. So this rocket kind of shakes up. We don't have very the capillaries, so we have to carry all four of these boosters up and we can't actually do any real staging other than linear. So as you can see, there's the moon and the camera. Now this engine's very inefficient, which is why I didn't quite pitch over as much as you usually would. Or no, it's not inefficient. It's very efficient, but stupidly low thrust. So I needed a lot of um, vertical velocity. Uh, I kind of overshot it a bit. As you can see there, I went pretty high. And there I'm just making a burn for the minimum I would need to get in orbit. It looks like I'm going to be able to make it. So I just go ahead and burn through the rest of the fuel. You can see there my periaps is rising. And yeah, right now we're just circularizing. It takes quite a while because like I said, this is a really low thrust engine, but it's the best ISP we have. Is the best thing I had for this mission. So we're getting up almost out of the atmosphere. There we go. We're pretty much out. And I'm just trying to circularize. You run out and I decouple the satellite. There was no real reason I needed to. I just wanted to have an individual little satellite. So getting pictures of the booster and Kerbin. These are our first pictures of Kerbin from space. Now I do all the science. It's amazing. Taking a long time to upload one of these. Just checking my contracts. Um, I think Achieve Orbit was a contract and I accomplished that with this mission. There we go, that big one's transmitting. We have another big one, so I just sit and watch Kerbin for a while, watch some sunsets and stuff, but we can go ahead and skip all of that and go to our next mission, or missions really. We're just doing more um, orbital stuff. We've of course done some companies have decided that we aren't total failures because we killed the pilot, and they've decided to challenge us to stick something into orbit. So I go ahead and save this as a launcher system, and um, I don't know how much it can carry, I just go ahead and assume that it's um, 7 tons because that's roughly what the probe I, the Ike 4 probe was. And if I do a more efficient path, I should be able to get more up. Now I played around with better camera positions, ultimately I decided that it was just best to stick it right on top. Um, I wanted to have it pointed down so that you could see more of the ground at once. Um, I consider putting on more batteries, but I think I smarten up and look at the weight and realize how heavy they are. Um, I also stick some science on there. I uh, end up calling this Goliath Sat because it's Goliath Corporation that's making me launch it. And go ahead and stick some antennas on there, sit and think about it. Um, there is no contract for orbital science, so I go ahead and take all that science stuff off because it's just extra um, cost and weight. Um, I do stick RCS on it and there we go, we have MechJib for autopilot. Probably should have only put one of those on, but symmetry, yay. And then we just throw that on top of the Ike 4 launcher. So it fits pretty nice inside the fairing. And just check all our staging before launch, we don't want to have a failure. Um, of course, uh, I have never said it, but um, I haven't reverted and I'm not planning on reverting or quick saving. 
Now, just looking, uh, we do want to get this pod, uh, the Command Pod Mark 1, because it can't go into space. We're going to get that for our next man mission. But, um, I decided I'm going to do them tier by tier, so I have to finish all four of those sciences before I can study the Command Pod. So, we have a bit of sciencing to go. Now, Goliath Corporation, we set that as the flag. And go ahead, make sure everything's up and going. Goliath set is ready for launch, cameras on, throttle up, and lift off. And yep, just using kill rotation again, and it starts shaking like crazy again. Um, at this point I believe that it will survive this because I've made it through once, so I'm not quite as terrified that I'm about to blow up my space probe. Not that money is really an issue yet, I did, um, I basically cheated and gave myself a bunch of money. Because at this point, I can't create a stable, sustainable space program. There's really no way to do it. So, we're just going to go ahead and circularize this burn. Of course, when I get technologies that allow me to recover stages, which I do have the stage recovery mod, um, or at least I do now, I didn't have them during the making of this video. Um, but yes, once we start recovering stages, then I might consider cutting back on my budget so that I actually have to worry about these contracts. But right now, they're just fun little challenges. So, we're circularizing. Uh, it did make me a base, apparently, having the um, satellite package on there. Alright, so it's getting bigger. Not quite what we wanted. Uh, I aim, try to aim down, get a little bit better. Eventually, I just give up because I made it out of orbit. It's completely not, like, all over the damn place. Um, get some pictures of the Space Center, actually can still see it from where we are and then we go ahead and right click and deploy I have permitted myself to use third person on that because I can't actually set it up as an action group because it's not an option while you're in the VAB but anyway that's it for this episode next episode we will be going further into space I am Khan Hathi bye